uh, see film is a quiet gateway gateway um, I'm vacationing here okay that's cool you see Miss Shirley sent out Cedro oh hey Taylor um, I'm going good it's going good I guess thanks for coming to my live stream <laughs> Let's use Giga Drain on the BB here. No, let's use Giga Drain on the Seedra. Sorry, but not on my own Pokemon, of course. Yeah. Let's see here. Horsey. Okay, we'll use we'll use Slash on this Horsey. Should one hit KO and up okay if it was a good hit it would have one hit KO. Now since they just use smoke screen then I'm gonna go for the aerials because aerials never messes unless you're in there underwater or underground. So yeah, that's good. And let's see one more Pokemon and it's a Cedra. I choose I didn't mean I didn't mean to use spore, but maybe this actually worked out good. Because I put it I put uh Cedra to sleep, so that's good. And then I have to use a couple uh, a Giga Drain and probably just a slash attack. So yeah. It's the fastest sleep, okay. That's good to know. Okay, Giga Drain out of PP, okay. So let's just use slash then. Oh man, I missed. Do I have to like, faint this with airways or something? Because I'll do it if I have to, but I wanted to kind of go out with slashing, you know? Go out slashing, not AOA acing. And then I'm gonna go and won't do much, I guess. Yeah. And one more AOA ace. Yes, boys, OP. <laughs> yeah, because it has 100% accuracy. That's what I like about it a lot. Taylor, you make a good point there. <laughs> and now it's just an airways. Okay, cool. Beat swimmer, I cooked too fast. Quit it. <laughs> Thanks for the 120 Poke dollars. So I am only mean to be so rough. And we'll use another air, uh, repel. Here's the Seafoam Islands that we need to get to. Uh, I'll take on you real quick. Strong trainers and water Pokemon are, are common sets in these parts. They say that Misty of the Saloon Gym trains here. That's kind of interesting. And this person battles right here. So let's just hop on our Blastoise and then just talk to this person. I float. I'm, I love floating with the fishes here among the waves. That's cool, I guess. That's really cool. So let's go face. Okay, she has a seeking. Okay, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make, go for the slash attack. Cause one attack on us. Okay. You could have quit. Nice. It was to finish it off. I guess. Is fury attack. Okay. That's cool. Effects blow a poison. You know, seeking. Four times, okay. It wastes then, and then it should go down. There we go. Level 40 for BB. Okay, nice. And then, let's use Fly, of course. Wait, we can't even use Fly, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center, just, you know. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think I need cut in the CFO Island, so I'll, I'll, I'll actually I'll just deposit um, cut it too while I'm at it. But I'm gonna have to put some repels on. Go back to the Pokemon Center in Pusher City because I want my Pokemon to be healed up. Just some personal preference. Okay, put Max Repel on. Going up and up and away. That didn't take too, too terribly long. And you got a Pokemon Center right here. Awesome. Let's heal our Pokemon. Did 
There we go. With Pokemon, of course. Let's pure back in the party. There we go, nice. And we can go back to the Seafone Islands where we were just at. I don't think I'm gonna pull off, but I wanna just double check. Let's see if I'm Blastoise again. Yeah, it's still lingers from the previous appell. Okay, cool. Hi Airsoft, um, 358, welcome to the live stream, welcome back, I, 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 I realize that you're a, um, you're a returning, um, viewer too, so thanks for coming back to see one of my live streams, I have a right, right here, but that's okay, let's use another Max of Pell actually, is it, we are in the Seafoam Islands, this is the entrance you want to go into, the top one, not the bottom one that you saw down there, this is the correct one, so just go south of Fusia, and take the route I took, and then you should get here. Um, let's see here. Now we want to move these boulders into these little holes. Because they'll block water currents, which we'll get into later. So if I just push them. There we go. Ice heal, I guess. Cool. What's this? Okay, um... I might as well do that in a second. Oh, thanks, uh, Airsoft2358. I'm glad you like my streams. Let's just strengthen this boulder right here. There we go. And let's just push that down there. Oh, no, I didn't mean to fall through. Okay, well, I guess we can just push it through again on this side that's the right thing to do I think I remember this puzzle hopefully it's somewhere to Pokemon Yellow because I recently actually finished Pokemon Yellow playing through the game on my 3DS and uh, it should have the same kind of similar puzzle to it you know what's this item right here it's a uh, revive awesome and didn't, dang it I didn't mean to do that Let's just strength on this boulder right here. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna pull off. Dang it! I'm trying to figure out. I, I think I have like half the boulders already in place, but I need to make sure I have. Yeah, this one, like, I'm looking for all around for these boulders, because they're really important. So, I'm um, just your strength on this boulder and push in this hole. And there's still two or three more that I have to push, but I don't know how to get to them right now. Um, go right here. Yeah, um, if I go down here, I guess. Let's see, down here, right over here. Jeez, uh, this is a big pile. Okay, cool. No, we already about to back there. So yeah, hold on. Let's see if we go right here. Here's another item. It's a water stone. Awesome. And what else? There's gotta be something else here. Okay, this is an important room. Okay, so right there's that. Okay, but I need to, I need to um, push these boulders right here. I'm gonna put on another pile first. And we should be good. It should be the last couple of boulders. Um, I think I know what to do. We have to push this one all the way up just to be safe. So I'll do that. one yeah there we go that should be good for now at least and then we have to move this one into the hole 
So there we go. Balls to the hole. Nice. Gotta move this one and then just move this one to the hole. And I think we're almost done with this puzzle. I'm pretty, if not, we're done already. So hopefully I have this right. I think we go down to this ladder set right here. And... Yeah, we can just surf right here. And then right here's Articuno. Okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, I want to save right here. Um, I'll go f have Thunder up front actually for paralysis because cause then they can use thunder wave and let's save right here I guess so that's good you saved right there awesome Garu okay let's see how many takes or how many attempts it takes me to actually try to successfully catch this Articuno this is the fun part if you want the fun part where you guys get to see me fail and stuff um, let's just thunder wave on it first of all. Now we're most likely faster than it, which is nice. But if it raises up its agility, it's kind of questionable then. Um, Thunderbolt, I guess. Oh, I hope it just like doesn't KO it. Okay, it does a decent amount. Okay, I can do this. That's Ice Beam, of course. Okay, that's... Fine. Don't be a jerk. I guess I'm not my fire type then. I won't dare use the fire type move though. I'm gonna use bite. Or strength. Wait, shit. How much does strength do? Let's see. Let's see. That much? Okay. Use agility again. Okay. Strength again. Let's get his ice beam, which won't be very effective. Okay, critical hit, of course. Of course he gets a critical hit. Ice stream again. Hopefully it'll leave uh, Elf in the red. Nope, of course not. Just my luck. Okay, I need something that stands up against the ice beam though. I guess Blaster is my best bet for that. And let's go check in the Ultra Balls at it. Nope, of course not. Didn't shake once. Of course, of course, of course. It's for paralyzed, so that's good. For that turn, at least. We got this, guys. And gals. Mine radio, okay. This thing has like a catch rate of 3. That's not a high catch rate. Okay, I, I would appreciate if this, one of these Ultra Balls shook at least once. Nope, of course not. Okay, he's missed on us. Oh, he's getting missed. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Ultra Ball. One, two, three. Are you kidding me? It shook three times and then it didn't catch it. I hate that. First Rayquaza does that like six times and now. Okay, and I almost said Arcanine. And now Articuno is gonna try doing that stuff on me. Come on, Articuno. You're just you're not being very nice. That's not very effective. Again, okay, here's an Ultra Ball. Another Ultra Ball. I was like, it'd be really nice if I caught it there. But, I don't know. Two, three. Oh, yeah. As soon as I say that, I catch it in the very next Ultra Ball. Jeez. Okay, I'm, I'll take it though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Um. I didn't read it. I didn't read it summary, but I'll read it after this battle. I forgot. Sorry. Articuno. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just name, give this um nickname. I'm gonna name it Frozen. Not after the Disney movie, but like since it's nice types, it leaves stuff frozen. So let's put in Frozen. Okay, cool. So let's read this Pokedex entry because I forgot to do that. Let's see here. Hold on. Gotta find 
you know, of course, I couldn't at the very bottom of the Pokedex. Okay, so it's uh, it's um number 144 in the Pokedex, and its name is Articuno. Of course, it's the Freeze Pokemon. It's it's five foot seven, so I'm five foot six, so it's like an inch taller than me. It weighs 122.1 pounds. It's um. Is it's um footprint does look like a regular bird's like claw foot or footprint or what or whatnot. One of the legendary Pokemon, one of the legendary bird Pokemon, with its long tail trailing behind its flying form, is magnificent. And then look at the look at the height difference. I mean, that's like probably an inch. Because my character seems to be like five foot six two, five foot six, and it just seems like it's a inch inch taller than it. Than my character and myself. That's interesting. Do I have enough escape rope by any chance? I think I do. I didn't make up, I didn't make up my po to my Pokemon. Uh, let's see here. Um, escape rope. Yeah, I have seven of them. I'm gonna use one right here. Let me make sure I still have seven escape ropes. There's six now. I have six now, of course. And let's fly to Palatown. Pallet town, pallet town, pallet town, town, town. 